Uber Davis basketball is going to be on full display this season. We haven't really seen it fully. We've seen it in parts because you have a lot of guys who were grandfathered in under Roy Williams who, because of COVID, had some extra years who had been around a long time who are no longer around anymore. Let's beat around the bush. We're talking about Armando Baycott. Armando. As outstanding as Armando was, he didn't really fit Hubert's philosophy on offense. Day one on the job. He goes on college game day. It's the day of the national championship game between Baylor and Gonzaga. He's talking to the guys and he makes a joke. You can determine whether or not it was a joke or not, saying, if you can't shoot the ball, don't come to Carolina. We don't want any screeners around here. He was setting a vision, and his vision was five guys on the floor who can all shoot the ball. Armando wasn't exactly a great shooter. Armando. Never really developed that skill. He isn't exactly known for quick pace either, setting the pace, running from basket to basket. But here was Hubert on trying to fill that void now that he's no longer he being Armando on campus. At times, you know, according to personnel, you've got to tweak, you got to pivot, you got to alter and change. Uh, you know, Armando was one of one. And so, you know, people would ask, how do you replace Armando? You can't replace a one of one. And so uh, this group is going to have to rebound. Uh, we're going to have to dominate points in the paint maybe a little bit differently than the way that maybe Armando did. Mm -hmm. Armando. We've never really seen a five out Carolina team before on offense. Roy Williams obviously never did that. Dean Smith obviously never did that five out for Carolina's offense. Now there will be Tar Heel fans who probably say, well, in 2017, you had Theo Penton at the four and Luke May at the five sometimes could shoot. Okay, maybe in some brief stretches, it's probably happened. Forever is a long time. But in terms of what you're going into a season with, don't remember Carolina having five guys on the floor who can all shoot threes, that being your best five on, on the floor. Like, there should be five capable shooters on the floor most of the time for this year's Carolina team. Jalen Washington, he can stroke it. Cade Tyson, transferring in from Belmont. Some of the numbers are absurd. 45% three-point shooter. He was over 50% on corner threes, which they, they're going to ask him to do. Perfect stretch for type of player. Stand in a corner. We'll kick it out to you with all the offense we have, all the weapons we have. Elliot Cadell says that he's prioritized the three ball this offseason after he struggled with that a little bit in postseason a year ago. The big question mark is going to be offensive rebounding as Hubert was just talking about there. You're going to have to tailor things a little bit differently if you're a five-out offense. If you don't have Armando inside, well, who's going to grab those boards? Who do you trust in order to do that? That will be the big question. As for Carolina's pace, Hubert sets a, he sets a lofty but clear vision for the Tar Heels. Here he was on Carolina's pace. Uh been straightforward and direct that I want to be the fastest team in the country from free throw line to free throw line. And in order to do that, you've got to be in the best shape of your life. And there needs to be a full commitment in regards to how we're going to play that way. And so if you're not in the best shape of your life, you're not going to play. If you don't sprint to the offensive end, we're not going to play. If you don't sprint back defensively, you're not in the best shape of your life. You're just not going to play. Mm -hmm. Blue white scrimmage this Saturday. 45 minutes after the football game ends, Memphis charity game, eight days away. Media day this week. It's close. It's close. Pace and shooting. That's Hubert Davis basketball. It's going to be on full display this year.